Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the quest Secrets of the North. The quest requirements are Devious Minds, Hazil Cult, Making Friends with My Arm, as well as the mini quest General's Shadow. Skill requirements are 56 Hunter, 64 Thieving, and 69 Agility. Two items that are needed are 100 GP, as well as a lockpick. For the suggested items are 2 to 3 stamina potions, an antidote, and then some food, armor, weapon, and potions to kill 2 demi bosses and 1 big boss at the end of the quest. At the start of the quest, you will already need to fight the first. The first demi boss will have a max hit of 34, as well as disabling sometimes your prayers. It doesn't really matter what you're using, ranged magic or melee. Just use the best thing you have. I'm simply gonna be using melee to kill it. For the second demi boss fight and the main boss of the quest, I'll be telling you what to bring and what to use when the time comes. For the teleports, one teleport to the fight arena bar just north of Yanil. I'm gonna be using a watchtower teleport in my POH, but you could also simply use your Ardoin cloak teleport. Then also three teleports to the Ardoin Monastery. I'll be using the Ardoin Cloak. Then two teleports to any bank to prepare for the second demi boss fight as well as the final boss fight. I'll be using a Ring of Dueling to teleport to Castle Walls to bank and prepare. And then also two teleports to Vice. The fastest way to get there would be to simply use a Icy Basalt teleport. But if you don't have that, you could also hop to World 31 and use someone else's POH and use the portal nexus to teleport to Vice. And if you don't want to do that, you could also use Larry's boat north of Releka. All right, where to start this quest is the same quest start as the Hazil cult quest, just south of the East Ardoin castle here at Sinclair's mansion. Talk to the guard and select option one. Keep pressing space. Afterwards, we will need to make our way upstairs. There, you will find another guard. Nope, it's the same guard. Let's go upstairs. Talk to the guard once again. Keep pressing space, and in the next room, you will find a dead body. As well as east of him, they will find a broken window. We'll be needing to inspect both of them. Keep pressing space, then inspect the broken window, space, then northwest of the body. Inspect the wall, just like in the Hazel Cult quest. Press 1, go upstairs and search the chest southwest. Next up, go back downstairs, open the wall and talk to the guard. Select option 1. One, two, one. Once we have these four options, let's make our way to the fight arena bar. I will be using a watchtower teleport, or simply use the Ardoin cloak, teleport to the monastery, and run south. But I'm gonna be using the portal nexus and going to watchtower. Should be a little bit faster. If you're also using the watchtower teleport, exit and run north. The first building you see is the Fight Arena Bar. Enter it and go to the barman behind or in front of the counter. Should be behind the counter. Talk to him and select option 3. You will exchange 100 GP for some information. Afterwards, exit through the door once again after the conversation is over and the barrels should have an inspect option. Click on it to inspect and then follow the footprints. Keep going north, 
And the next thing we will need to inspect is a boulder. Just north of the two dead trees. Inspect the boulder. And then make your way to the fight arena quest start. Just north of the broken cart, they'll find a bush. Inspect it. Afterwards, go east, follow the footprints, and at the end, they'll find a tree stump. Search it. And follow the footprints southeast. They should find at the end of the trail some rocks or a boulder. Search it. And then keep following east. And just north of the haystack, that is the final bush that we will need to search. Afterwards, slightly tread northeast. At the end of the trail, there you should find a NPC. Once you go near it, the boss fight will start. So first, let's go over what the boss fight will do. First off, let's set up our quick prayers to whatever you're using. I'm going to be using melee, so I'm going to be using piety as well as protect from melee. To defeat the NPC, just simply use Protect from Melee, and every time the NPC says something, it will disable your prayers. Simply re-enable them, attack again, and do this until Avalon has been defeated. Once you think you are ready, drink your Super Combat Potion or something, and approach Avalon. Use Protect from Melee, and defeat it. Alright, once Evelot has been defeated, talk to him, or it, or whatever. Keep pressing space, and afterwards we will need to make our way to the Hazil cult hideout. So get ready to teleport to the Ardoin monastery. And go a little bit northwest to the dungeon sign. Enter the cave entrance. Don't forget your stamina. Go downstairs. Board the raft. Next, run south and talk to Alamone. After the long conversation is over, you will need to make your way back to the guard at the quest start near the mansion. So get ready to teleport to the Ardoin Monastery once again to make your way back there. Don't select any option, just simply teleport to the Ordoin Monastery and let's return to the guard. Alright, here back at the quest start, let's talk to the guard and afterwards we will need to enter the building to go to the dining room. In the southeastern corner they'll find a trap door. Climb down the ladder and talk to the cook or the chef. Keep pressing space and in the southwestern corner you'll find some searchable cooking shelves. Search them and press 1 to press the button. Afterwards, go northeast to the northern wall, and next to the notice board, you'll find a wall. Inspect it and press 1 to enter the hidden room, and they'll find a chest. Use your lockpick on it. And they'll find this puzzle similar to the Jail of the King Ransom quest. To solve this, you will simply need to click on confirm and see which of the pins is currently green. So for me, 
Currently, pin F is green. I'm just going to be ignoring pin F. And then I'm just going to be clicking one square above number one to make everything two except for the pin that is currently green. Click on confirm. And just keep doing this until all of them are green. Once you've solved the puzzle, you will see a dusty scroll. Inspect it, close it, and then click to continue. Afterwards, make your way back to the Hazil cult by teleporting to the Ardoran monastery and boarding the raft again. Once we've returned to the Hazil cult base, let's talk to any of the three NPCs here until the conversation is over. After this conversation, let's teleport to any bank to prepare for the second demi boss fight. The first demi boss wasn't really a demi boss, it was more like a quarter boss. The second one is a little bit more difficult, so let's go to the bank. So what I advise you to do is, first off, deposit the lockpick. Then also deposit your magic and your ranged gear that is not needed for this fight. You could use ranged if your range is a lot stronger than your melee, but I suggest to use melee. And definitely, most importantly, is to bring your antidotes or your anti-poison potions. Then one or two staminas and then one or two rare potions should be enough. And for the rest, bring a full inventory of good food to tank either the ranged or the melee. It depends on what prayer you're gonna be using. Also, because I forgot to do that last time, I'm also gonna be bringing along a super combat potion. Right, once you think you are ready to do the second boss fight, let's teleport to Vice. You could use someone else's portal nexus or simply go to Releca and take Larry's boat. Once you've arrived at Vice, climb over the little boulder next to the farm patch, the herb patch, to go a little bit east to the red line on your minimap and then cross the broken fence. And go a little bit northwest to find Big Fish. If you went by Larry's boat, then you have arrived here at this transportation sign. Simply use the agility shortcut to make your way up here and then go through this fence and then just run around to Big Fish and Dead Wolf. Talk to either of these two trolls and keep pressing space. Next step, go a little bit southwest and talk to Snowflake and my arm. Select option 2. After speaking to them, let's go back to Big Fish or Dead Wolf, talk to them and select option 1 three times. Alright, that's it. After this conversation is over and Hazil and Kazet have departed, let's join them by descending the stairs southwest. Next, go south. You'll no longer find a wall, but now a cave. Let's enter the cave to trigger a cutscene. Next up, let's go over the mechanics that we're gonna be doing. The boss fight will use melee and ranged. If you're using protect from missiles, it will use melee. If you're using protect from melee, it will be using ranged. So definitely use protect from missiles or protect from melee depending on your defensive styles. I'm currently using void, so for me it doesn't really matter what I will be praying against it. 
Second, you'll only be able to deal damage to the assassin once it is standing in a cloud. Be sure that you do not stand on the cloud, but only the assassin is standing on the cloud. And the third thing that you will need to pay attention to is the animation of the assassin itself. If it throws you a vial, just like uh, the first demi-boss fight of the Sins of the Father quest, if it throws you a vial, move away. Alright, that was a close call. Once the assassin has uh, teleported away, continue the conversation with uh, General Kazet and then inspect the pillar, the southwestern... Oh. Well, we're gonna be going back into this room to search this southwestern pillar in just a moment. First off, let's go south and open the gate and then run west to the end of this alleyway, and they'll find Azil. Talk to him. Keep pressing space. And afterwards, we will need to go back. Don't press anything, just go east. And we're still not able to search this pillar, so let's go south. And south of the center room, they'll find a searchable barrel. Search it to find a lever handle. Next up, go north. North of the center room. Open the gate. They'll find a lock. The code is left, up, left, down. Confirm. Next, use the lever handle on the lever mechanism, just north. Yes. Space, yes, space. Next, let's exit this room and go to the center room. Open the gate. And they'll find a five letter combination word. What we'll need to type in is blood. Once it says blood, click on confirm to unlock the gate. Next up, open the northern chest. They'll find another code. What we need to type in is 7, 4, 0, 2. Confirm. To open this chest to get an icy chest. Next up, just two tiles west of you, search that crate to find a tinderbox. Next up, we will need to find the four braziers, which are currently in each of the four corners, in a specific order. First off, it is northwest. Next, it is southeast. Then it is northeast. And finally, southwest. After you've lit that brazier, Click to continue and then open the chest just one tile north of you to find the first jewel shard. Next up, exit this room and let's return to General Kazet in the northern room where we just fought the assassin. Now we are able to search this pillar. Search it for the second 
First off, let's make sure that we have two empty inventory spaces. Inspect the pillar. And we'll find another jewel shard. Use one shard on another to get a jewel. Use a jewel on the chest to get a key. Usually you need to get a key to open the chest, but whatever. Next, let's go back south. And keep going south. There's just one more gate that we'll need to open. Just south of the center room. Open that door. And here you'll find a mine as well as a crevice at the western wall. Once we've entered this crevice, we will need to fight the final boss. But I'm not ready because I'm using melee currently. So first off, I'm going to quickly go to the bank to prepare. Maybe Ferox Enclave so I can also restore my stats. Good, let's go to the bank and let's deposit our melee equipment. Also, you don't need the strange cipher, no, you don't need the settlement's note. Also, the pickaxe can also be dropped. You also don't need a bank teleport anymore, so you may deposit that. And you also don't need your Ardoin cloak anymore. We just need one more vice teleport to teleport back to the boss room. And the final thing that we also don't need anymore is the antidote, as well as your melee setup. I'm just going to be depositing this. And instead, I'm going to be bringing ranged as well as magic. All right, so my setup at the moment is simply, once again, some void. The first phase is a melee phase, which is weak to magic. So I'm going to be equipping my magical setup, which is just full void with a trident. Also... Also, I'm going to be going on Asians to be able to freeze the monster. I'm just going to be using Ice Blitz. And I have put the runes in the rune pouch to cast Ice Barrage or Ice Blitz, depending on your magic level. Then for the second phase, it is the range phase. And therefore, I'm going to be using Void Range with a rune crossbow and some regular diamond bolts. If you miss any of the many special attacks, it will be able to corrupt you, which means that you will get a lot of your prayer points drained. Be sure to bring like two prayer potions that should be enough, and maybe one full stamina potion should be fine. You don't need two, I think. And besides from that, maybe a ranging potion, a magic potion, and that should be enough. For the rest, maybe a full inventory of food. Range switch, magic switch. Let's go to Vice to kill the final boss and complete this quest. Enter the dungeon and make our way all the way back to the crevice to start our final boss fight. Avoid the tiles, be sure to use Protect for Magic once you see the Jad face standing up. Grey is Protect for Melee, Blue is Protect from Ranged, and Shadow just stand on the Eastern Wall and avoid the Shadow Balls. And at the final 10%, avoid the Shockwave and use Smite. And then just deal the final 10% once again. The boss will start using melee so start using magic and as well as protect from melee and maybe augury end of the crevice to start a short cutscene to start your boss fight
Dude, I suck. Holy fuck, I suck. <sighs> oh my god. I suck at this shit. Once you have defeated the boss, keep pressing space until there is a yes or no option, which is a free teleport to East Adi. Select yes to make your way back to the mansion to return to the guard and complete our quest. All right, let's teleport to Ardy. Let's talk to the guard and congratulations, you've completed the secrets of the North Quest. You are awarded with 60,000 agility experience, 40,000 hunter experience, and I think 50,000 thieving experience, as well as the Gorak dungeon access. The boss fight was really scuffed. I'm really sorry about that. I am not good at PVM. But anyway, subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.